Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One, and I wanted to come and show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. Just a small haul, um, but I don't shop much, like I said on my other videos, so when I do shop, I get really excited. <laughs> I hate shopping, but I could spend hours in Hobby Lobby. So, we'll just get on with it. Um, I wanted to do this so I could get this stuff put up uh, before I have to run to work. Excuse me. And, um, so we'll just get started. I got this Boho Vibes paper pad. And I'm sure everybody and their brother has seen it. And probably everybody has it, but I didn't have it. So, now I do. And I'm really excited to make some journals out of this paper pad. Okay, well, that's not going to open. But, anyways, I know you guys have seen it, but I'll I'll try to do a quick flip through. It just has really pretty, pretty papers in there. So, Hobby Lobby had all of their paper, all of their um, paper on sale, 50% off today. So, that's actually the only reason that I, I actually <laughs> bought these papers, because I went there for Christmas papers for my Christmas journals. Um, that I'm doing that were pre-ordered. So, sorry if I hit the camera and shake it. Um, but anyways, they had all of their paper on sale. And I've loved this boho one for a long time. And just haven't gotten it. And so, I splurged. And that's okay. Because I don't do that often. Um, so anyway, we're just going to get on through. I got this country road one because I like to do the shabby chic stuff and I'm sure you all have seen this one as well um, and I've been wanting this one for a while too but just now got a chance to pick it up or was willing to spend the money to pick it up I love these papers and they're gonna look so pretty coffee stained so I'm really excited about those and then all of the Christmas papers, I was going to get one of those pads, you know, one of the Christmas pads. And I just really kind of liked these better. So instead of spending the money on a pad, I just kind of got these. Um, these are some florals that I got for a different project. Um, and then some of these in here are Thanksgiving ones because I'm working on a Thanksgiving book too so kind of got all mixed together but anyway so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through all of these but that one's super cute I really like the one with the cars sorry if I bumped the camera and I love the old world Santa so I have a stamp almost identical to that and I love this this is so pretty like this one. Anyway, like I say, I just really liked their line of of papers for the Christmas stuff rather than buying a book. And I really like the old sand, uh, snowman. So anyways, I got those. There's, I got some that were 8 by 10s Um, oh, and that one's super cute too. With the trucks. I like that. Really vintagey. So anyways, I got those for the Christmas books. I will organize these later. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do this video so I could get them organized because I'm actually in the middle of doing a journal right now. And so I have got stuff spread out everywhere all over my desk. So I got those. I'm just going to leave those here. This was an assorted paper pack and I love the florals because I'm going to be doing some floral journals here coming pretty soon um, and I couldn't really open it inside the store but it was on clearance for $5.99 everything that I bought today was on clearance or 50% off so I didn't even get to use my 40% off coupon and if I can get this out because I, I don't even know what's in here. So, I'm just going to flip through real quick and see. Oh, now, see, I'm loving the amount. Oh, I really like that one. 
and I like the amount of the same pattern that they put in here. That's really pretty. Let's see. Um, those were by Bloom and or called Bloom and Grow by my mind's eye. So I'm really liking these papers. These are super cute. That one's okay. Not super thrilled with it, but but hey, for $5.99, I mean, I don't know if it says how many sheets of paper were in it. Oh, 50 sheets. So that's not bad. $5.99 for 50 sheets. I don't think. Anyway. And then I got this 8x8 of the 12 days of Christmas. And it has matching sheets that go with the other sheets that I picked. So I thought that was really cool. So I'll just flip through that real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's the little cards with the 12 days of Christmas on it. Pretty neat. And there's the little car again. I love those. So, I think I'm going to be able to make some really cool vintage type um, books with them. Hang on just one second, guys. about that timer on my stove was beeping at me <laughs> so anyways then I got this stamp and it was regular $7.99 so I got it for like four dollars and this one was in the clearance so I got that for it was regular $6.99 I got it for $3.50 this one regular $5.49 I got it for $2.75 and then this, I needed a bigger stamp block because I didn't have one big enough for some of my flourish stamps. And it was regularly $6.99. I got it for half off. Then I got these. I thought they were really cool. There's six in each pack. And I like the color. They'll go good with the vintage type books. Um, but they're doilies. And I got them for $1.49 a pack. So not bad at all. And then I got these, and I don't know if you can see these. These are just um, little tucking and journaling cards, but they're Christmas. So I got those to go in my Christmas books. And then I found these. They were on sale for $1.49 and the clearance rack, so I got two of those. These I don't think were on sale, um, but I just got little treat bags because I like these. These will go in the vintage looking ones. Um, for the journals and then I got some glassine bags which I don't think they yeah actually these were on sale too um, and then I found this really cool tissue paper it's Christmas tissue paper but it's music paper and it's got Christmas songs on it so I'm gonna do some decoupaging with that and then I got this little journal it was $2.99 which is not a great sale but I love this paper love it don't have to do anything to it. It's already coffee dyed for me. <laughs> so I don't know how many sheets are in it. It doesn't say. But anyway, I picked it up. And then last but not least, I got this little punch from it's a paper studio as well, and it's just a corner flourish, flirtedly. So all of this and the stamps. And I think that is everything. So, for $90, not too bad for the stack of stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby. So, super excited about that. And then, I wanted to show you real quick what I got at TJ Maxx yesterday. Let me see if I can grab it. It's just a couple of little things. and I don't even remember what I spent there. Um, but, I got this cool set of cards. And I thought they would be neat to go in some journals. I love the design on those. And I love, love, love the envelopes. I mainly got them for the envelopes because that's my favorite part. So, those are really pretty. So, I got those. Those were $3.99. 
And then I got this journal, which I thought was really cool. And the reason I got this journal was look how pretty those are. So I'll be taking this bad boy apart and adding these pages in my journals. Aren't those pretty? I hope you can see them good. I'm trying to, some things are on the bottom, some are on the top. Um, but uh, I'm excited about this one. I love this. And I only paid like $4.99 for that, which really to me is too much. But this one was on sale for $3. And I really like this paper because it already looks tea dyed or coffee stained or whatever. So I think I have it upside down. Um, and this is a really cool cover. I may repurpose that. So I don't know. We'll see. So, those are the three items that I got at TJ Maxx. And let me see. At TJ Maxx, I only spent $13.15. So, not too bad for those. So, I think I did pretty good. I um, think that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them below. Like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Send me some love. Send me your friends. And you guys have a great day.